Hey, Vault Hunters, what is happening? And welcome back to the channel. As always, thank you for tuning in. So, it's 19th of December 2019, and as this video goes out, the Moxie's Heist DLC is officially live. Hope you're all enjoying it. I won't get a chance to play it later, but hopefully, some videos will be going up over the weekend of it. Uh, but also, today, Gearbox have brought a, a couple of hot fixes to Borderlands 3 as well. So, first up, matchmaking improvements. They have made some changes to the back end to improve the matchmaking experience in Borderlands 3 as a whole. But they've also focused on the takedown matchmaking. So they've moved the takedown matchmaking option so it's in the social panel. They've brought it forward. The takedown matchmaking service now won't transition players into the takedown until a full party of four have been found. This may incur a little longer waiting times, but we're sure that players will prefer to join in with a full party. So on to hot fixes, just a few to go through. They decreased the shields and the armor on Malawan Death Fears in the takedown at the Malawan Black Site. The recent patch improved the navigation of the Death Fears in the takedown, and as a result, these enemies have become much more difficult to track and hit. So to balance this change, we are lowering their armor and shield values. They've addressed a reported concern that Terra was sometimes not dropping his loot when rerunning the Agonizer 9000. And moreover on Agonizer, they've addressed a reported concern where the loot could sometimes fall through the floor. Addressed a perceived progression blocker where enemies would sometimes not spawn immediately for the objective kill traitors in the mission Porter Prison. Addressed a reported concern that Zane's Trick of the Light skill was sometimes reporting lower bonus damage values in its description than what it was awarding. And finally, addressed a reported concern that Mosey's desperate measure skill sometimes wasn't awarding a damage bonus to Iron Bear's right gun. So that's literally it for the hotfix. It's not too much to go through. Uh, one further message that Gearbox have put on is that we are bringing in the Mayhem with a Takedown New Year's event. So starting Tuesday, December 31st to Monday, January the 16th, players can enjoy the Takedown balanced to the number of players in your party. For example, if you solo it like I do, it the... Um, takedown raid will be balanced based on one person as a solo as opposed to because normally it is uh, always balanced as if there's a full party taking it on which is why the raid can be quite difficult so that's all to go through that's everything to go through um hope you're enjoying the dlc as i said that's it for this video thank you so much for tuning in if it was helpful please drop a like and smash that subscribe button i have been donny mayhem guys and i will catch you next time